If you'd like to see how I made these resin bears and letters and turned them into crop charms, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube, so today in this video I am going to be making some little um, resin bears and I feel like I could use these, well I know I could use these as croc charms or decorations on crocs. And that's what I've been doing quite a bit of recently so I just wanted to have a few more things to just make them extra jazzy and very unique. So I've already started to mix up my resin here. And I'm using super clear tabletop epoxy. And I purchased it on Amazon for about $60. Both of these came together. So I have my little cups here. I'm going to have three separate uh, cups because I do have some glitters that I want to use. I'm going to swap my gloves out. They're pretty messy and I'll show you the glitters that I'll be using later in this video. I really just want to get straight to it because this is so strong. I just really don't care to use resin that much. I love it, but the smell is so strong and I am wearing a mask right now. So I'm just kind of getting this stirred up. This is how much I'll be using. I mix part A with part B and I'm mixing for about 15 minutes. So I'll be right back once I start to separate this and mix in my glitters and then pour it in. Okay, so I'm finished stirring up my resin. What I'm going to do now is pour it into three separate little cups. And these are just little Dixie cups um, that you use to rinse your mouth out and get these from Dollar Tree. They work very well when you're making little items with the resin because you don't want to use a big cup to overflow what you're doing. Okay, so now that I have these three separate cups filled with the resin, I'm adding some very pretty Recollections glitter that I purchased from Michaels. It's a very like pink um, fuchsia type of color of glitter. And this one is a very, very lovely turquoise string glitter. And this is some clear holographic confetti glitter. So I'm just going to give it a nice little stir. I think it's better if you stir slower so you don't have so many bubbles, but I was stirring quickly for some reason. But um, anyway, I'm stirring this up so the glitter can be throughout the whole cup of resin so that it's a nice even consistency. Now I'm just carefully taking my time and trying to pour slowly because you could feel these little um, molds up so quick. And then once it starts to spill over, it can get kind of messy. And you kind of just want to either take something and scrape it back into the mold the best way possible. What I did is I had like a little droplet to suck up the excess or I put too much. So I, I, try to, I kind of like used the little droplet to kind of suck some of it back up in it and put it back into my cup. So I know my hand was in the way. It was a bad angle here, but... I'm taking my second cup of resin and just pouring it in there as carefully as possible. Because if you pour too much and you don't clean it up before it cures, you'll have like rough edges and they can get kind of sharp. Sometimes you could just break them right off, but if you can avoid that step, why not? So I'm filling this one up and I'm, it comes out kind of quickly, so you, you just want to go slower. So go slower than what I was so you don't have to use anything to take some of the resin back out. That little tiny one, that's just like, like I guess, a bear paw. But I think these little bear molds are just the cutest. They came off Amazon for about eight bucks. I think I'll get a second set, so when I make more of these, I can have doubles, because they're all different type of bears and they're all different sizes. So I think I'll order a second set so I can also make more of them at the same time as well. Okay, so I'm just using this little pipette just to suck up some of the, the resin that I over poured into this little bitty mold here. So that's what I'm doing. Just trying to clean up my little mess so that these come out as cute and nice as, as they possibly can. Then I took my little plastic um, butter knife and kind of scraped it back into the mold where it should be. Now just watch me to continue to pour in the resin into the rest of these molds.
Okay, so now that my little resin mold molds for the bears are all filled up, I now have this other mold with the alphabets in it, and then it also has the numbers zero through nine. And I'm just gonna randomly fill up certain letters of the names of people or um, like just random letters of maybe of some shoes that I know I'm gonna be making in the future. Cause I'm not gonna use these on everyone's shoe. I mean, you'll see how they turn out at the end, but I'm just basically doing random letters. And I know I'm gonna be doing my daughter's shoes, so I'm gonna do a letter R. I did a letter C for me. And I did a number seven because my daughter is seven. So just some letters that I could possibly use. I know some people make keychains out of these letters. I'm not sure how to do that. I know there's like a little kit you can buy. I'm just not sure how to get that little metal piece inside to loop on the, the keychain part. But I'm sure I could figure it out. I'm sure it's not like super hard to do. Okay, so now I'm just going to take this little Dollar Tree lighter with this long stem on it. I usually use a, a heat gun, but this time I'm not going to use a heat gun. And really, for real, I couldn't find it. And I didn't feel like looking for it too much longer. So I just said I'll just use this lighter because I see other people using like a type of torch. So this to me is like a little lighter torch. So I'm using this and it did get the bubbles out. So I'm just going to continue to use this. Okay, so I used up all of the resin that I intended to use. Now we're gonna let that set overnight. And once this dries, I'll demold it tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow has come. And I am unmolding my very first bear. And look at this. It is so cute and sparkly. And it's such a nice size. I just love it. And it cured like it should. I don't see any imperfections. And I just think it's, I think it's awesome. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and unmold the rest of them. This is like, a, like the fun part. Okay, so now I am unmolding the letters 
and they just pop right out so easily they look so good I just love that holographic confetti glitter so pretty and I'm just gonna go ahead and unmold the rest of these So now I'm going to show you how to make a few of these letters into charms. Okay. I'm going to wipe the back of them off with a little bit of alcohol. Flip them over. Okay, so you will need these little plunger, clear, transparent buttons. You could buy these on Amazon. Take a few of those out because I'll need it, um, a handful of them. I have my Loctite 460, which is very strong. And I have my tweezers so I can go ahead and sit on the plunger on top of the glue. It doesn't take much glue at all. You will use one drop. I repeat, you will use one drop of Loctite 460 glue. I've seen people in videos use E6000. I haven't used E6000, but you can probably use E6000. I'll test that out later. And you see I'm holding the bigger part towards the ceiling and the smaller part goes on the back of whatever you're turning into a charm. Because the bigger part is, remember, is what goes inside of your crock. If you put that tiny part that goes on the back of uh, what, whatever you're turning into a charm, it'll slip right out and it won't stay inside of the crock shoe. So just remind yourself, the bigger side goes to the ceiling. So I'm going to continue with the same method, turning these into crock charms. Okay, I'm doing the same thing. I'm flipping the resin bears over so they're, um, they're face down. Wipe them off with a little bit of alcohol. Make sure it's dry. Take my Loctite. I put the blue one back in the mold because it, it kept leaning to the side. 
and the it would be lopsided if I put the glue on and the plunger it just wouldn't work out so that one is inside of the mold for that reason the other ones they're able to stand up level with no problem okay so again I'm going to take one drop of Loctite 460 glue on the back of each one of these little bears and then I'm going to take my tweezers or you may not need tweezers I have long nails I need to use tweezers so I can go ahead and put the plunger clear transparent buttons that's what it's called on Amazon I think it's clear transparent buttons for crafts um, for crop charms or gibbets or whatever and I'm placing the small side down on the back and the bigger side will be towards the ceiling. So that's what I'm doing here. Okay, so it is now the next day, and I'm going to show you all how strong this Loctite is on these charms, and they look very, very pretty. And when you add on your little plunger, make sure it's in a nice neutral area on the shape or whatever it is that you're putting on. Um, you don't want it to be like lopsided because sometimes the glue can slide. So put it in a nice central area. See how I have it like in the middle? because you just keep in mind how it's going to be on the crack. So I'm going to show you how it looks on a real live actual crack. So here you go. You want to make sure it's in a, a decent spot. I like to just put it in at an angle, give it a turn, and there you have it. Now I understand that these are huge if you want to put them on your cracks. But that's fine. You don't have to have four of them. You could just have one if you want. Look, these are so, so pretty. You can go a step further and add rhinestones to one of these if you want, but they're already very pretty just like this, especially if you have glitter in it. So I just take uh, my nail and pop them out from the bottom. And I'm just showing you other letters that you could turn into the crop charms as well. And here I'm just showing you how the resin bear looks inside of the crop. These bears are really big, so if you want to do two big bears, or you could do one big bear and one small bear. The bears alone are very, very pretty, very adorable. But if you want to add on some other charms, some other smaller charms, that would just really, really be extra cute as well. Here again, you can see how the, the bare resin um, charms look very cute inside of your Crocs. They'll definitely give them a nice spin and they'll look different from everyone else's. So um, they're finished and it's a really cool way to make your Crocs stand out, especially if you personalize Crocs. This is a great way to add a more personalized feel to them. Okay, here is the final finished look at the resin bear and resin letter charms that I've made. These came out very, very pretty, and I really like the way they look with this glitter inside of them. Also, keep in mind, you can use any color glitter that you like, and on top of that, you don't have to use glitter at all. You can use alcohol inks to tint your, um, your resin so that they'll be just a, a whole solid color. There's a lot that you could do with these. 
Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. If you decide to subscribe to this channel, be sure to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified once I drop a new video. If you don't want to subscribe, that's fine as well. Thank you so much for stopping by. And thanks again for watching. Bye-bye. Be sure to check out my playlist full of crop videos that I've done. And there's also a video showing how to make other crop charms as well with rhinestones. Thanks again. Bye-bye.